Uh, well, since I'm here, let's check the little... There it is, the green light up there. Hmm, it's not glowing here. Uh, what's the strength? Doesn't show. What's the strength? How do I know how much damage this causes? Hmm, uh, stamina hearts probably. It was a bit hard against that line out down there. And I'm assuming Ganonar should be harder than that. Just go through here somewhere. Okay, maybe all the way up there. Oh, I didn't land it here at any point. I have been waiting. Ah, uh, so it is a quest. Hang on, my main quest is Dragon Tears for Princess Zelda. Okay, I should probably report back to Pura. But so this isn't part of the main quest. Let me away in for you. My purpose is to conduct a ceremony to test the strength of any visitors. Those who pass are told the story of the Great Sky Islands. Ah, okay. I sense you are qualified to attempt the ceremony. Please for me when you are prepared to begin. But I don't think you'll be here for from the beginning. I noticed the light after a while. Legend of the Great Sky Island. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to attempt the ceremony so that you may hear the story. Yes, I'm ready. Very well, I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. You must light the three fires on this island and then return here within the time limit. What fires? You have 12 hours seems doable. The sounding of the time bell will say no. Uh, where is the time bell? Robert did mention it, but I didn't see any bells. It will say no. The start of the ceremony, it will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. What fires? There will be a delay before the ceremony can begin. Please wait here until the time bell tomorrow morning. We can start then. Is that acceptable? Sounds good. Understood. Let us wait for the islands to rise precisely at the time of 7 a.m. time bell. Uh, those islands move based on the time of the day. Major's flashbacks. Thank you for waiting. The time has come. Do you want to hear an explanation of the ceremony? Let's hear it. You are well. I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. Mm. Uh, light the three fires, then return here before the next bell. 12 hours. But you must not set foot on any surface other than the roof of the stem during the ceremony. Ah, I have 12 hours. Ah, so I have to use the the waterfall. Ah, so this was probably after I got Sidon at the very least. The sun of uh, the time bell is you know the start of the ceremony. It will end with the sun and next bell. This concludes my explanation. It is now time for the ceremony to begin. Okay. Seems fun. Yeah, that may help a bit. 
Mm. It started already, right? I know Tully. Okay. Yeah, but that seems to be required. Uh, is swimming setting foot on something? No. Okay. Uh, ah, there is a fire. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't think I fought this construct, did I? Ah, there it is. I thought it would be up here. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't get there. Okay, the, those other two were quite easy to find, so... Ah, maybe I shouldn't worry too much about where the last one will be. Okay. No, back. Uh, return to construction, let it know. Let it know, shouldn't you be able to see? Well done, you have proven yourself capable. I will now tell you the story of the Great Sky Island just promised. The Temple of Time and the land it sits upon were once found on the surface of the world. Uh, let me just wait for it to stop moving. This has changed, its lane and the lane surrounding it now float in the sky. There is a reason for this, the hero who will defeat the Demon King will one day awaken at this very site. But how, how would they know that, because Zelda only went to the past after the fact, she, she didn't know we would wake up here. Ah uh, no, she planned in the past to set this up and to what will bring me here. There's no reason why this couldn't be at the surface. The site must be kept safe from the Demon King and his followers. It was therefore raised high into the skies. Well, there are Arrokudas in the skies. The tremendous power of the sages accomplished this feat long ago. That is the story of the Great Sky Island. Oh, it's only fabric. The fabric bearing is only design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. The sages who raised this lane into the sky directed me to give this token to the one who heard my story. It is not yours. You want to hear the story again? Maybe another time. We have, we have brought you into your, our confidence. Please take good care of the token I have given you for completing the ceremony. I'm always forgetting about those, so... Oh yeah, I also got the field to... Uh, Plains... Wheat.
Paraglider. Okay, Carl. Uh, nostalgic. Carl. Garuto. Some Urbosa design, I guess. Chica. Zonai. Hmm. Would well, that supposed to be the Zonai symbol then? They don't really have one symbol. Huh. Cute, the Korok. Uh, Hudson. Uh, Look Clover. Learning. Yeah, I don't like the fish. Horse God. CC. Hmm, I thought I had more. Yeah, I guess I'll use this one. It's kind of simple actually, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. The fabric ready to launch. The door looking for the next beast. Uh, is it there? And I'm not sure if I had anything new to teach the kids. Water for the plants. Hi. Hello there. Ah. To figure out what you want to grow? Yeah, I forgot about that. In the pumpkin serves radish, tomatoes, wild berries, or hydromelons. Wheat and rice too. Can't forget those. Which sounds good to you. Before this, I, sh I should admit one thing. I have more experience with some crops than others. Oh. I don't know too much yet about raising indoor carrots or hardy radishes. You have to forgive me if they would. The yield on those end up a little lower than the rest. Usually, it'd be hard to find them to buy. Although I know where they sell them now, but I get across the others more easily. Certainly, I'll take that from you and be pleased to do it. I can return anything once you hand it over, mind. But if you like playing something else, come see me. Oh, and I hope you let me know about your first harvest so I can be there to see. I'm already hankering to see how the crops turn out. But you have to know the important part of growing good crops is to take your time raising them. You can expect them to thrive while you kill time at the inn or bonfire. Then anyhow things are done, the veggies know. So I'll take it'll take a bit before they're ready to harvest. But I'm already getting excited. That wasn't even an update. It was the quest, wasn't it? How long? The only reason I'm able to work the fields again is because Princess Zelda built the skull. Hope they find out what happened to the Princess soon. Oh, sorry, did you need something? How's the garden? You got a nice little Tabanta wheat crop going. But well, they're still freshly planted, so it'll be quite a while before they're ready to harvest. This thing's in time, no. Try to be patient, okay? There are no shortcuts when it comes to raising vegetables. They won't grow if you while away the hours. Yeah, see. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. I just like to have an idea how long this could take. A day, two. Yeah, did you guys have something else? So they were having a surprise test about calamity. Huh? What? I never heard about this. Why didn't you warn us? It's a surprise. If I told you in advance, it wouldn't be a surprise test. Now would it? Now then, Carrie, how did people of the time come to know that the imprisoned calamity would return? Stables? No way. Newspapers. Uh, I got it. An oracle told them. That's correct. The answer is an oracle. Well done, Carrie, but that sounded like while well guessing. Although it took you a moment to recall that, you should note that nowadays your other answers might have been valid. Stables and newspapers are a rich source of information, after all. 
this surprise, surprise test will continue for a while, so please be prepared for them, everyone. You only ask one of them. Now for the next question, now then Esther. Whose technology was used to build the machines that would oppose the calamity? Um, the Gerudo? Oh, I'm sorry, that was incorrect. The correct answer is the Shika. Shouldn't they have some wild guess about that? They have a Shika lab in town. I'm a Shika, and so are the people working in the research lab up the hill, as well as those living in Kakariko village. Remember the well? This press test will continue for a while. Next question. Um, now, Sephiro. What was the title given to the ones chosen to pilot the ancient machines? Uh, Divine Beasts? Close, the answer is the champions. The Divine Beasts are the machines built by the Shika. You certainly know a lot. Excellent, Sephiro. This press time continue. That's fun. Uh, for the next question, and then Azu. Who, along with the sacred princess, stopped the calamity with and with which sword? Those are two questions. <laughs> easy, easy. The champion who wielded the sword that seals the darkness, right? I don't remember, but is it the boy that liked weapons? <laughs> Very well done. The sword that seals the darkness is also called the Master Sword. Keep that in mind. Can I show it to them? This press as you continue. Next question, Karen. How do people at that time come to know? Ah, okay, so you just go on forever. This is hard. You didn't get scared. Okay, let's report back to Pura. Hey, got it. Linky, welcome back. Hang on, that looks an awful lot like. What? Is that the Master Sword? You told me to get what? it. It was found on the head of a white dragon of all places. That's hard to believe. Oh, come on. You can see the dragon. Probably. Somewhere. However, can we tell her? Hmm. This was Princess Zelda's wish. One she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see through for us thank you for finding a certain link i have to say <laughs> you really don't look quite yourself unless you got the best sword at your side Check it. now then it seems you have all you need you're prepared to face our enemy hmm. we need to determine where the demon king is lurking it seems unlikely he'd still be in her castle I can't think of any place he'd be here on the surface. That must mean... Huh? That's it, the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability that he's in depth? Mm -hmm. Do you think... Uh, do what you think best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Joshua for any info she may have. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help out. Yeah. Link, the rest is up to you. Ah, this right now. That took a while. That was like the f second quest on the previous one. Mm -mm. Ah. Hi, swordsman. Are you are your investigations in that in the Iga clan going well? Oh yeah, there's them as well. I'm hard at work too, but I still don't have anything new aside from what I told you about the statues and that seems to lead southwest. What about them? Mm -hmm. You know how the ca that's the same thing, isn't it? You know the chasm in the first time south of Harrow Field, when another two statues were discovered in the bottom of it. The statues are different than the one you show me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere to uh, and you come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. The statues live further southwest in the depths. Hmm. Where the goal is anyone's guess, but I bet there's a destination far behind the building worth seeing. <laughs> At this point, the chasms and the statues are points of focus for the investigation. I'll continue gathering info about that. 
In the meantime, if you make any new discoveries, be sure to let me know, stars man. We gotta give it our all. My hope is that this investigation will give us a hint in the search for Princess Zelda. My guess is that I'll have to go back through there, past where I fought the Lionel. But they're pointing me to continue following the statues. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will lead me to Master Koga quest. Wind, fire, water, lightning, and spirits. Spirit. The five sages have awakened and entrusted you with their power. You still don't know where the Monkey King Ganorf is, but Pura says she suspects the depths. That's not vague at all. If you work with Joshua, who has been investigating the depths, you might gain a lead. I'm pretty sure I have to follow the path down Pyro Castle, but I, I really want to follow what they tell me to. So maybe I won't fight Ganondorf today. Oh, hang on, let me just uh, report back to her uh, as well. She told me to find the passive storage. Oh, hang on. I didn't... Passive storage. Oh, event. Ah, oh, it has some... Ah, oh, cool. Huh. Oh, hang on, I didn't pay attention. Ooh. I probably just showed how much more damage I caused, but it misses her plus nine. That doesn't really help me. How much damage the base message search causes? Is it 30? Is it 60? He apparently did bare minimum in the last game, so I don't think he did the trial of the surge. And it isn't shiny, so but it also got broken, so. Well, then. Even if they tried the sword, it could have been depowered again. Link, you have reclaimed the master sword. These are glad tidings. The demon king surely building his power somewhere in the world, even now. Uh -huh. You hold this sort of hope which Zelda left to you. The time of the final reckoning is close at hand. That our combined might at last defeat demon king Ganondorf. I will remain here to perfectly tune this concert body that I might be ready for the confrontation. I have already sworn my pledge to you, couple me whenever you have need of my strength. Yeah, shouldn't the first place we look for be where we started the game and Link should know where that is? Well, it doesn't make much sense for Ganondorf to just stay there where he was in prison for the past many millennia. But... That would be a good place to start looking for him. Oh, I do. Can I take them all? Mm. Good. Let's keep following the Gerudos. Mm, do I have any other? Okay, that's probably the last, the next one. Yo. Ah, uh, maybe this is another Coliseum. No. Ah, uh, this is the labyrinth. I didn't come here. Okay, I can make a car. I can't enter from here. Okay, but I can make a plane for the next one. I should have totally made a car. Hmm. A little card here. The gloom got me. Oh, poor guy. Oh, are you here to help? This, this is misery. I'm covered in gloom and I need a sandalion. I got one here. Ah, I'm saved. Thank you. Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. 
This area is riddled with gloom and I step right into it. One touch of gloom will whittle away your vitality. Be careful to keep a safe distance. Mm. If the gloom does get you, you should either go up to the surface or use a sunlight as, as soon as you can. I can't just use a sunlight, I have to cook something with it. I heard rumors that the light of those giant trees can also help too. So I suppose that's neither here nor there, because the gloom won't even have the chance to do you win. <sighs> Prepare to die, Lane. Let's try to get him to step on gloom. Oh, hang on. I don't want you guys to dismiss. I want to see him step on gloom. There. Ah, he doesn't care. Okay, it's not too strong. Yeah. Okay, let's bring them back. Those two are the same color, but those three aren't the same color as here. Hmm, they should be started in the same order. A Macaubis. Wow, that was a large area. Oh, well. I should be able to fight one. Come on. I only met one right at the beginning. Oh, uh, okay. Bomb. Can I just drop a bomb from here? Most used. Huh? What did. It... Ah, I got one of them. Ah, can I climb it? Can I. Should I mine it? Well, my sister is for mining. Oh no, it's just as a knight. It doesn't hurt me. <laughs> you want some? Get some. Is this like a Talos or I could kill it by hitting its king? Frog's Fang, a giant or crouching Frog's Fang, attached to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power or equip a creature to make an elixir. Oh, hang on, can I? Yeah. Mmm, and a crystallized Crocs fingernail, a flat cracked fingernail attached to an arrow to increase the power quicker to create a shimmer elixir. Missic? Missic?
Okay, another good one. Yeah, I'll probably need to drop the horse here. Bend and get rid of mine. Hmm. Can they do anything from there? Can they shoot while they fly? I usually kill them from afar, so I'm not sure. Oh, you're here. Oh, well, do I want to get their attention first? Well, they did see me. Yeah, it was no big deal. Alright. Hey, come on, do something. Mm -hmm. no, it's the right hand, right? So, why isn't this working? It's not the right, right hand. You back there. Take over for a while. Hmm, it's you again. So, Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did, exactly, but it refused to work. You tricked me. I won't stand for this. You wasted some of my time, but no more. I'll battle you, I'll beat you, and I'll steal the power back from you. Prepare yourself. Well, he does know some magic, maybe he will be able to get the arm to work for him. Oh, now I have a bike plane. I mean, do I have to fight you? Can I just... Uh oh Oh, uh, what was written there? Whoa! they get this to work without batteries mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that works had the complete Iga outfit. Could I fool him for a while at least? Guy, 
Uh, blah. This place has too much sand. You're only winning because it keeps getting my eyes. Uh, so I'm going to let you off easy again. That hunk of chunk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation still the ancient power is over. I quit. Uh, I thought the power might make things easier, but it's just icing. I'm after cake. We've been collecting a mighty power source scattered all across this land. Crystallized charges. And we're ah okay, they're probably using the charges to power the things. And we are going to use them to restore an unstoppable weapon for the man himself, the magnificent one. Once we do, we grant his wish for the end of the world. So we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway and the restoration of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all of the resources here. If you want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming crystals at the eastern abandoned mine. Now I will fly. Greetings. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. Oh yeah, I didn't finish the other two guys. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. I didn't speak. The eastern abandoned mine that men spoke of is most likely the abandoned Lanera mine. Ah, okay, so quite far. I thought it was eastern from the desert perspective. Um, it is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest ascending to the surface first. You may be able to find a chasm leading there in the region to the east. There are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the abandoned Lanar mine. I recall chasm on lane in the Lanar wetlands. There is also one south of there in the mountain, a mountain village. Ah, Kakariko. There is one other thing before resume your journey. My associate over there manages skim stones. You may want to ask for one. I thought it would be you. It's a bit of mine, it's a bit extremely far from here. Not good. Okay. Chest. Yep. Huge for slides. Nice. Mm. Associate. You can get me a vehicle. Authorize or verify. Welcome, this was once business refiner where a great deal of Zonite was processed. That's just managed design and payment. You have confirmed skin stone. Okay. Hovercraft. Did I have that? I will also prepare parts required to test my auto build. Mm. But I guess I'll craft it once I'm heading out. So I don't. It doesn't vanish. Mm. Mm. I'm hungry. All this turnover has led to a supply shortage in the bases. Do you know how hard it is to find a banana? The devs are a complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems to seems in the least bit edible. You think that everyone would take that seriously in respect the ingredients in food stock, but no. The wretched new recruits ate a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off of them. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Large Master Koga. Oh, that seems nice. Oh, it rotates. Hmm. I think that would be better than the hovercraft. Alright, alright, alright. So now... 
Hill. Ah, I was supposed to. Huh. Oh yeah, there's usually a chest for everything I build. Uh, maybe it's a bit heavy. Oh. Hmm. It's shiny now. Ah, uh, is it stronger? No? I guess because of the bloom. Mm, it's no longer shiny. Mm. Hey, there should be one right there. Ah, uh, it's up there. I thought there was a ceiling here. Check here. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I do have a statue here that I let's check that statue first, and then I'll go around. <laughs> 